hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel so i decided to show you guys um my wig installation that i'm doing um i saw this unit and i said wow this is a very fun unit it's summer it's time for braids and um i decided that i'm going to show you guys um the process i hope that the way i'm going to be doing this you're still going to be able to see me properly installing the unit i hope that you're going to be able to see me properly okay so here you go guys so what i've done i've just prayed the god to be glue which is this one right here and um i've used this one that says screaming um screaming hold for hair i like using it because um you might gonna be hearing a little bit of noise right now just a minute so i sprayed the god to be glue down so you have to be careful with it and then you just hold it in using the tail pin you can use the end or you can use the back here i like to use the back for extra security i put the back to be glued on and i put the blow dryer on cool guys you can't put it on heat or else it won't stay on so that's what i did just to secure the hair in place just to make sure that it's there i haven't cut the baby hairs or anything just yet i just do the installation of it just to do it but i don't like it it's a little bit too much right here that i spray but i'm gonna clean it up when you're gonna clean it up guys you have to use alcohol so that all the white stuff is not showing this unit is a little bit big for me. I didn't cut any anything off. I'm just gonna put it with here behind my ears because it's big so I can cut off the excess baby here that is there see. I'm just making sure that everything is in place. Never shut down the baby hairs. So I'm gonna take down the baby hairs now. I didn't cut any yet because it's braids too so you don't really have much baby hairs with braids but you just want to cut enough to to cover the the unit that you put there guys just enough to cover the unit so i never even glue down this part too much like why did this one i'm gonna have to do that because in order for it to stay behind the ear properly i'm gonna have to do it i'm gonna have to go down a little bit and fan it a little bit and then put it down so i'm gonna have to turn the blow dryer back on and if it's not too you have to lift it back up This is what it looks like. And then I'm going to put the baby here and then I'll tie it down. To make sure it's holding in place. But I love the color guys. It's fun. Um, it's summer so I saw it and I was like damn let me just try this one to see how I like it and for me my units I like to take them off every now and again so I'll just do what needs to be done and then take them off guys afterwards I just love fun colors guys I love um different color hair, different units and so I think it's okay now that's that right there I'm gonna cut off the baby hair now because I don't need a lot I just need just a little bit see I want to take some of the hair out of the way So this is what it looks like. You can catch the hair of the unit up in one, or you can just use a clip 
to hold the hair in place guys i never even push it all the way down honestly it has a stocking it has a uh i should say comb teeth installed at the back so the wig is secure onto your head if you want it to be more secure you can glue it down or you can do whatever you want with it but i'm gonna cut off the baby hairs because you don't need so much honestly see so i'm cutting it off Because you don't need a lot, honestly. Why would you need so much baby hairs? You just need a few just to cover the lace. See? Because I don't really like too much hair in my face anyways. Yeah, you don't need a lot, a lot, a lot of baby hairs, guys. See that? You just need a little bit and what I use is I use the same got to be glue but not the spray I use a glue this time around to create the look that I want and I don't have a lot left I should have maybe used so I'm just gonna paste it down like this I think the baby hairs is still too much so I might cut off a few of it still I don't want it in brains you don't really need too much baby hairs honestly you still need a few you know but not a lot so I don't need a lot of baby hairs for what You do need a lot, honestly. So you just brush them down. And I'm not really a baby here person. Per se. So I tell you, I'm not really a baby hair person, but I'm doing it because you have to. If you don't do it, then the wig won't look, you know, like it's supposed to look. I don't really like baby hair because I like when the units look as natural as they can possibly look because everybody knows that braids don't really come with baby hairs so you need to do and create too much baby hair but you have to because of how the lace is formed you know what I mean so that's why when you're doing a unit, you have to customize it to your face. Honestly, you have to customize it to your face, guys. That's what I'm basically doing now. 
just customize it to my style to how I like it to look because I'm not really a baby hair person as I said before you know what I mean I don't even know how to do them really to swirl and to do all of that I just put down some baby hair in some different ways and just leave it and as I said I use a glue instead of the spray because it's easier to handle guys so <sighs> hope it's coming along good that you guys can see I'm just the one who installs my unit for myself I don't like to do too much with the units like because they can look fake you know what I mean like too much baby hair thing because everybody knows that like braids don't really come with a lot of baby hairs already I'm trying to get it behind my ears guys So, still have to cut off some of this lace. We just have to just customize it to fit you, to fit your ears. Okay. So, that's what I'm doing. It takes a while when you're doing the units because you have to really do something that you know not gonna be unbugging to your ear I don't want to cut my ears off I should have cut some more of this off trying to let you guys see what I'm doing hope you guys are able to see it this part I think I don't really like because it's too much so I'm just gonna have to tie it down to let it stay down, really. So, way that I like guys honestly like I'm not gonna be wearing the wig like all the way like that all the time because I don't even like the whole beauty hair thing I personally don't like it but I do it because you know I want to show you the unit 
but I'm gonna tie it down. I'll be right back, guys. I have to tie it down with something. Oh, I have this here that I could use to tie it down. This is a wig band that I'm using actually to hold it. I just want to hold it for a little bit. So that's what I do. And I can let it down for you guys to see it. So you can put a headband with it if you want to. So that's what I did right there. And I hope you guys are able to see it. So I tie it down now with this. And this is the color. And my installation is all done, right? So you got to just do this until you your hair is dry. And I like to go back in with the glue dry. Make it dry faster. Sorry for the noise. But this is a process that I do. Try to dry. If I have mousse, I'll put a little mousse on there. I think I'm going to go get a mousse. Just to hold on the fly away, guys. And I'm going to sleep in this unit just because of the way it is. I have to, to sleep in it. I have a, band, a head bannet so I can sleep in it and it's braids so it won't even shift or anything. I don't sweat in my head guys so I like this unit because you can wear it with a head band. You can do whatever you want to do with this. So I'm going to take it off just for you guys to see a little bit what it's going to look like. Just to hold it down for the baby here is to form, guys. And for the unit itself to be done. So see, this is what the unit looks like, guys. And this is the unit. All right, the only thing I don't like is the baby hairs because I'm not really a fan of baby hairs, guys. I must tell you that. And for this unit, it has a lot of baby hairs. I still have to get used to it, but it's not something that I love um, because we all know with braids, we don't do a lot of baby hairs. And with this, you have to do it because um, you want to make sure that the unit is laid down properly. I could take out all of this and not do so much, but I already sprayed the unit and everything, so it has to stay the way it is. So this is the look. I hope you guys love it. I hope that you guys will do something fun. It's it's summer. Um, and I decided to start with the braids guys so this is a look and you can do an upbeat if you'd like like this there's so many things that you can do with it that you could style it with because it's a, it's full the way it's sewn on so even though it's like that it's still onto your head you don't have to necessarily just wear it down but to showcase the style I will wear it down all the time guys the only difference I might do is I might roll it like this. I can do a roll with it if I want to. I can do a lot of things with it. We can roll this side. You can roll that side as well if you like to roll it and have different looks with it. 
it's braid so you it will never tangle or anything guys so I'm just gonna spray a little shine onto it just to give it a nice little smell. that's it so thank you guys so much for sticking around with me i hope that this was a nice little video to enjoy and i will see you in my next vlog so remember guys to check out all my social media platforms go check out my youtube channel over by um my page which is mnh makeup and more over there i would really appreciate it guys if you would go subscribe tell a friend about the channel and for all of you who prefer to watch me over here on ig i really appreciate you guys go get a fun unit don't be afraid to try new colors don't be afraid to try new things it's all within the confidence that you have guys and within yourself so enjoy the rest of your sunday and this is the look of the day peace out for now guys be blessed